Hey Vortex. So I'm about to leave my job. Cause they don't want me. See that's what happens when you're late. A lot. Eventually. They don't want to. You know it's crazy though. It's like there are so many jobs that I've had that I've loved and hated at the same time. But I was thinking about this yesterday at my other job. Like You know, a job's a job. A lot of people say that. That is true. To a certain extent, that's very true. Because a lot of people seem to think that they'll be happier someplace else, but someplace else is like, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna still be bringing the same baggage. And these are people that never figure out that the problem's them. Not to say that certain jobs aren't bad, but it's like people that, that never figure out that they have these issues. I mean, I've literally had this punctuality problem everywhere I have ever been, every job. Every institution that I attempt to attend reluctantly, I might add. It's like, I, I'm so bad with time. But I feel like, like so many people don't understand what's going on. Like right now, they don't understand what's going on. They don't understand uh, what's been going on. And I'm willing to bet money that I don't have, that they're really not gonna understand what will go on in the future. Uh, you know, these people just don't pay attention to anything. They think I'm so crazy because I'm, you know, over an hour late for work and I, it's so bad. Padiddle. Yeah, but certain things, they stick with you, you know? Certain activities, certain sayings, certain mottos, certain ways of doing things, they stick with you. And it doesn't matter how long it's been. It's like certain things will still always like hang there in your memory. Like this is important, you know, even if it's not important. And uh, I don't know, man. Like just thinking about jobs that I've had, it's like whenever I was working that job, no matter how much I loved it, no matter how much I hated it, that was like my life at the time. And, and just thinking about that's really, really strange, you know, like, well, like 10 years ago, yeah, where was I working 10 years ago? McDonald's. Oh my God, yeah, 10 years ago? Dude, I got sober. I got sober on June 29th. 
Yeah, that's right. I always get the dates confused. But, yeah, man. But I was working at McDonald's and like, that was my, that was my life, you know? That drive through And if you had told me then that like eventually I wouldn't work at McDonald's anymore, eventually I would move on, I wouldn't have believed you because you know, that was what I was doing. That was my routine. I think for a lot of people, they're, they're so stuck on that routine. They're afraid of change, they're afraid of doing something different. I know that I'm that way. And I feel like that's why I haven't pursued anything creative. Because I know that's what I'm supposed to do with my life. Now, I said this before, I, I really don't want to make money. But I, I now's an interesting time with money. I just, I wonder what's gonna happen in the future. I mean, we can make all kinds of assumptions and we can do all kinds of research, but it's like, it's still, Whatever happens, happens, you know. God will decide. God will decide. Um, I mean, there are a lot of people trying to control everything. You know, so God's got to deal with all that, too. That sucks. It sucks for him. But, you know, he's God. He can handle it. That's, that's why he's God. <laughs> you know. 